Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery. I'm really excited to share this episode with you because it's something a bit different to what I've done before. And this is actually scything. So here I have an Austrian meadow scythe. And my father and I went on a course last year about how to scythe and we ended up buying uh, our own scythe. And the reason why we're moving towards scythes is because when we use things like strimmers and the lawnmower, we have to be dependent upon fuel. But when we're using the scythes, all we need to be dependent upon is the actual energy that we convert from our bodies. So it's really efficient. And there's something called a, um, a swath. And a swath is the uh, angle or the width that you can cut using a scythe. And with a scythe like this, you can get a nine foot cut from one end to the other and that is just really effective. But why use a scythe? The reason why we're using scythes not only to cut down on the dependence upon fossil fuels, but it's also because we can use the grass to make hay, we can also feed grass to our pigs, and then we can also use the grass to mulch our vegetable garden. So we're basically gonna be covering all of that in this short video, but it's just a bit of an introduction to show you what's possible with scything and it might spark an idea for you thinking, yes, uh, scything might suit me. So I'll just show you a little example here because we're working in the orchard at the moment, been cleaning around lots of stems. And we've just got this nice smooth cutting motion, like that. So it cuts really well. Um, you do need to sharpen it uh, probably once every one to two minutes of scything, but sharpening is really easy and I'll show you that now. So here I've been using the scythe and if you want to clean the grass before you actually sharpen it, you simply grab a load of grass that's been cut and then you pull it across like that. So here's the scythe blade, it's quite big. And then we have uh, this thing here, the ridge and you simply use this as a guide to sharpen it. So you then go on the other side. And sharpen it like that. So it only takes a few seconds to sharpen. Make sure you wear gloves when you do it because you can get quite a nasty cut because it is basically razor sharp. The thing with using a scythe versus using a strimmer is a scythe is much easier to control and you can get really close up to the trunk of a tree and you want to keep the uh, trunk of a tree clear to avoid things like disease and for it to rot. So that's why we're going to use a scythe to go around the tree trunk to clear it. So you may be able to hear the sound of some pigs and one of the ways that we use the grass that we scythe is to actually feed our pigs. So that's just to cut down on how much we have to spend by them proper feed. But it is important that they have a balanced diet. So we have a section here in front of the old barn where we just scythe the bit every now and then and then we just chuck it over to feed the pigs. So I'll show you this for you. And as you can see, before here, I've already scythed it in the past. So I'm always scything to where I've scythed before. So if I scythe onto grass that I haven't yet cut, it makes it a bit awkward when you're going to cut that part as well. So I've got a nice load of grass here. And as you can hear, the pigs are getting quite excited because they know it's food time. So I should just collect it and I'll take it over. Uh, 
and that will keep them quiet for a few minutes. And then once you've finished cutting, you use a hay or grass rake that looks a bit like this and you simply bring it all in to a nice little pile. So here I have a bucket of grass clippings and uh, this is from the side and tomatoes like to grow in a pH of about 6 to 7 somewhere around there so slightly acidic and grass clippings are slightly acidic so it suits them fine using this as a mulch. Now just an important tip, this is for tomatoes, when you water them you want to just water them at the base, don't water their leaves because that can promote blight. So simply Create a nice about one to two inch layer and place it around your tomatoes and then this is going to mulch the soil so eventually it will break down and provide nitrogen but also it's important because it will stop uh, water from evaporating so it's good water retention. So I hope this has given you a good insight into what scything is and how we use it on our homestead. And if you are interested and a bit inspired by seeing how effective it is, I have a few links down in the description which you can follow up so you can maybe scythe yourself. And I do recommend it because my father and I really enjoy it. So thank you very much for watching. Also, if you haven't yet, I definitely recommend you subscribe to my newsletter for some exclusive content and also to keep up to date. And yeah, I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.